relationship with Jesus Christ. Worship should be easy for us here in the house of God. Amen. Because we're not amongst a bunch of sinners. Amen. But we're we're amongst our brethren. Amen. And so worship should come easy in the house of God. Amen. It shouldn't be something that we struggle through. Amen. But it should be something that comes easy. Amen. And I'll tell you tonight, amen, if you're struggling, amen, with worship tonight, amen, you're having a hard time tapping into His presence, it just lets you know that you're not as close as you need to be, amen. See, we all make wrong decisions at times, amen. We all make mistakes at times, amen. But we don't need to give up because we've made a mistake or a bad decision, amen. We need to repent. Cry out to God. Draw close to Him, amen. And ask Him to help us, amen. You no, know, God hates sin, amen. I'm not giving you the right to go out and live any way you want to and just say, well, I can ask God to forgive me, and He will. He will. But they don't give you a right to live like that. God won't be pleased with you that way. Amen? He surely won't bless you living a life like that. Amen? But if we'll learn to make the sacrifices, we'll learn to humble ourselves and fall at His feet and cry out to Him, and follow after him, amen, and let him lead us and guide us, Sister LeBron, God will bless you, amen. I'm telling you, amen, I feel like that. Sandra and I have just started <laughs> tapping into his blessings, amen. One time in our life, amen, I know that we felt like that we was in the center of God's will. It seemed like that the blessings of this world was just overriding us, amen. But you know what? They don't compare to the spiritual blessings, the gifts and the things that God has to give us, amen. And Brother Cletus, I've been tapping into those gifts, amen. The gifts of discernment has been kicking in in my life, amen. I've been able to, to, to discern things that I once wasn't able to discern, amen. Seeing things in the spirit realm that I wasn't able to see before, amen. And I thank God for that, amen. Hallelujah, it's time that we begin to tap into those gifts and those callings that God's placed upon our lives, amen. Get serious about serving God. Amen? It's not that I haven't been serious in the past because I have. But I haven't been as serious as I am now. Amen? God's been talking to me about some great things. Amen? Things that the church are going to go through, some good and some bad. Amen? I come in and I share it with you here a couple months. I guess it's been a couple months ago about the vision God had given me about the church and how it was fixing to go through something. Sandra had given us a, I, I, I don't remember if she had given us just a word or something that God had showed her in a dream, I believe it was, two weeks before that, amen. Something similar to the same thing, amen, but a little different, amen. And we're experiencing those things, but God warned us, amen. He warned you, amen, and me. Showed us ahead of time, amen. And sometimes I don't understand why God does the things He does, Sister Lamont. Or sometimes I can't even figure it out, amen. And I question and I wonder, ponder upon it, amen. But God always brings to pass that which He says, amen. And I'm telling you tonight, amen, don't get entangled Again, with a yoke of bondage, amen. Put your trust and faith in God, amen. Lean not under your own understanding, but begin to acknowledge Him 
in all your ways and I'll guarantee you he'll direct your path. Amen. He's a good God. Amen. He's here to lead us and guide us. Amen. To take us to the promised land, Brother Cletus. Amen. I'm looking forward to making heaven my home and seeing as many as I can to follow after. Amen. I'm telling you, amen. I want to see God do great and mighty things here in Fayetteville, Tennessee or Park City if you want to call it. Amen. In Lincoln County. Amen. Most of all, I want to see God do great things with you. Amen. And with me. Amen. I want to be a part of this last move of God upon this earth. Amen. He said he's going to pour his spirit out upon all flesh. Amen. We're seeing that take place right now. We're seeing a powerful move of God sweeping across the land. And we're seeing also a great falling away, Brother Cletus, as the Word of God says. In the last days, there'll be a great falling away. But that don't mean God's not doing His part. Amen. It's because the people, I said the people, amen, aren't walking after Jesus like they should. They're not staying humble and at His feet. Prayed up, fasted up. Amen. I'm giving you what God's given me. Amen. I want to tell you tonight, amen, we've got to be led by His Spirit. We can't be led by flesh and please God. You can't do it just because you think it sounds good or looks good, amen, and please the Lord. You've got to be led by the Spirit of God, amen. And I can tell you tonight, amen, there's some hungry folks in the house, amen. That's a good thing, amen. I'd hate to think that I had all I needed, amen. Amen. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty for more of God. Amen. You know, I spoke to you this morning and I said, you know, we need to let Jesus birth something inside of each and every one of us, men and women. Amen. We need to get impregnated again with the Spirit of God. Amen. And let the Spirit of God have His way in our life. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, God wants to do a new thing. Amen. In this generation, in this time, amen. Not that God's changed because He never changes. He's the same today as He was yesterday, as He will be forevermore, Brother Cletus. He changes not, amen. But there's a new thing He's wanting to do, amen. How many knows that God can do whatever He wants, whenever He wants, yes. and however He wants, yes, amen. He and you know what we got to do? We got to learn to follow, amen. We got to learn to follow. God calls us to be servants of the Most High God. A servant. Do you know what a servant is? Yes. Amen. A servant's one that serves. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the king. Amen. We're the servants. And he makes us kings of kings, don't he? Amen. That's yes. what the Bible says. Amen. Somebody this evening got a song on their heart. Amen. Anybody? Sister Shirley, you sing that song about the sunshine, right? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good to have Sister Shirley back. Amen. Yes, Y'all remember Brother John? He said every time they go on a journey like that, he comes back, his feet and legs are swelled and has a lot of trouble with his knee, of course. Remember him, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. You know, I talked to my brother Johnny this evening. He called and told me he gave his heart to God yesterday. He went to church this morning and went back to the altar again to make sure he did it right. I just pray that God has touched him and that he has gave his heart to God because I know he's going through some things, you know, and um, what he calls fun, what he thinks is fun now, it's just robbed him of his health and his well everything, you know, God, the old devil's trying to take everything from him, but I told him, I said, if you'll just give it to God and live for him, I said, oh, John, I said, God can just bless you. Praise God. Lord, I need you.
Praise the Lord. Sing it. It's just a. It's got a true meaning. Number one. What same song again? Oh. I wanted you to sing that other song. I can't. If you, that one. 
Alright, hold on. Ready?
my feet they are traveling on and sometimes all the clouds are dark and low oh but I got I gotta keep the faith and walk that straight and narrow way to reach that place that I will call my A stranger here just passing through on a temporary stay. But I'm looking forward to the time when all of heaven it will be mine. I'll watch and pray for it could be any day.
today I have communed with thee. Today I am in the best. Today I have been here. Today I have seen thee. Today my heart is with thee today. A day, today is the day, is the day for you. Today is the day of salvation. Today is your day. Come to me, said the Lord. Come unto me. I will give you rest, said the Lord. Come unto me. Come unto me. I will give you healing. Come to me. I will give you a miracle. Come to me because I am God. I am God and I can do all things, says God. I can do all things. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Don't doubt me. Don't doubt me, says God. Don't doubt me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, says the Lord. Trust me and I will bring it to pass. Bring it to pass, says the Lord. I will bring it to pass. I know your heart. I know your heart. I know your heart today. I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you today. Come, says the Lord. Come. getting back out there in the world on some of them are. What the church is doing? Gay marriage. You have gay preachers now. And they think God's okay with that. Because God's all love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the kind of thing. Sin is taking over the church. And, and they are being deceived by their own lust. They're being deceived. And that's what that's what I was talking about. The song right here. Kenny Henson wrote, he's dead and gone. He died of cancer, his son died. I believe he died of cancer too. He wrote this song, and it touched my heart 40 years ago, and still does. Friend, don't worry about this heavy load I carry. Don't be concerned if it sends me to my knees.
Praise the Lord. Amen. So good to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. Say that it's good to have everyone here that's here. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, we need we need the Lord to lead God and direct us in our walk with Him. Amen. I want you to know, amen, if you'll seek after him, he'll lead you and he'll guide you.